G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jono, thank you so much for joining me. Now, every now and then, sometimes you get a chance to play something that is a little bit of that unobtainium kind of thing, especially here in Australia, the way things are at the moment. But I have with me a Wizard MTL Mark II and I wish, I wish you could stay with me, I really do. This is one of those things that I've never thought I'd get a chance to play, but here we are. So I'm very thankful to a good mate of mine who's let me borrow this as we have a look at the controls here. Uh, depth, presence, bass, middle, treble. Sweep is really cool, it's like a contour. Uh, it's proven to be really useful. And then all these five knobs here are all push-pulls. Um, as you can see, we've got rhythm and lead. Now it doesn't technically say clean, but you can definitely make that rhythm channel nice and clean and it's profiled really nicely on the Kemper. We've also got two input jacks there, high and low. Right now I'm still getting used to this amp, so I'm just gonna take you through a couple of little tones that I've um, been playing so far. Uh, far out it's good. Um, really highlights all your mistakes, but uh, um, you know, it's only gonna make me a better player. So once again, I'm so uh, blessed to be able to play one of these things for a little bit. So. Uh, we're on the lead channel, I've got no extra things pulled out or anything, no boost, no saturation, no shift, um, just lead and the uh, EQ is what we saw on that sweep earlier. <laughs> I, I could, yeah, I could just play that all day. <laughs> uh, let's go neck pick up. <laughs> dynamics like as as, uh, as the harder I pick even though I've rolled the volume off the, the dynamic range really jumps so it's really cool how that compression of the amp is, is, is doing its thing when I'm at full whack but then you know allowing a lot of a lot more dynamic uh, when we roll off Yeah, this is awesome. Here we are on the rhythm channel. Uh, bridge pickup still pushes pretty hard. <laughs> Putting a clon in front of this tone really gets some awesome sounds. <laughs> The pedal I just stuck on was a, a Rimrock FX uh, Mythical Overdrive and I think this is the best clong clong going around but I've never heard it cut like it just cuts through on this channel and this amp. It's pretty awesome. Back onto the lead channel and pull out the boost uh, pot and then tune down to drop D, we can get some pretty heavy tones. <laughs> Once we get into those really high gain um, areas, I can feel the compression uh, that kind of reminds me of the JCM 800 and, and my um, 1959 HW Marshalls, um, just in the way that it feels under the fingers um, when you're palm muting especially. But 
there is just some sort of character about it that's just different, uh, it's unique, and it's insane. So I'm going to get my head around this thing, and uh, hopefully you can join me for some more videos on this soon. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, please hit like and subscribe if you feel inclined. You can also head to my website, johnoisguitar.com.au, for some camper profiles, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.